Hello friends. In the previous video, we have seen with while loops. The next looping statements that we are going to study is for loops. Okay, so uh, the syntax is for space say x in range I will write say 6 then colon then I'll say print what is that x I will print this is one case there are different variations of for loop I'll show you one by one now what are you expecting so it is going to print by default the starting number is 0 and till 6 it goes okay when I say till 6 it is not going to consider number 6 right so it is going to start from 0 and end at 5 right say suppose I do not want to count 0 okay so what do I do I will write 1 comma 6 that means my starting number element is 1 and the ending element is 6 let's try printing it again as you can observe, now 0 is not there. Okay. So now, I will say, I will start from 1 and I will go up to 20. But I do not want to increment by 1. Instead, I will say 2. Right. So now, it is going to start from 1, go till 20. But every time, it increments by 2. Let's see how it works. As you can see, 1, 3, 5, 7, all odd numbers I am getting. Right? So, now, what did you understand? The understanding is, this first digit will tell me what is the starting point. And then second number will tell me what is the ending point. And this number, third element, will tell me how much should I increment. I can make it 3. I can make it 1. By default, it will be 1. Can observe here 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, like this. Right. So, what all the variations that we have seen in while loop or if loop, right? Where we had seen nested if loops, right? All those things will hold good even for a for loop. Right. So, uh, let me take the same whatever we did for while loop, right? So, entering the number, right? So, then deciding whether it is a single digit or not. Similarly, we will try out here, right? So, for x in range, what I will write? 9, right? So, then what I what do I print? I print single digit number, right? So, what are you expecting? You are expecting it to get printed for 9 times. Right. So, I do not want it to print for 9 times. What I can say is, I will say 5 to 9. Right. You can expect it to print for 4 times. Right. Similarly, what I will do is, I will put another for loop. Remember, when I put it in the same line, that means it is not nested. When I give a tap space like this, that means it is in the it is in the form of nested for loop, right? I am not giving nested for loop here. X in range, I will give 0, 0,99, but I do not want to print so many times, right? I will say like, I want to increment by every time by 10 times, right? Then I will say, I will copy this. See, remember, if I press enter now, it is not going to have a tab space. Okay, this is a tab space that I have. So, when I give colon here and then press enter, can you see the space, the automatic space, right? So, when, when there is no space, that means it is not in the loop. Okay, when there is a space that indicates that it's already in the loop, I will say double digit. 
you can observe like it is getting printed for four times right while 0 to 99 after 10 times increment 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 times it's going to print for 10 times right so this is how i can use for loop right there are many other variations i expect you to try out few things okay if if there is some difficulty please let me know in the comment box so that i'll help you out see you in the next video okay so before we end this video, we have come to a stage where we have learned significant things in the Python, right? So if you want to learn some basics, only some basics, okay? So whatever is the operators we have studied, we have studied the basic branching and looping instructions. Then now we have studied the basic data types involved in the Python. So you can consider this is one stage where you have completed so all these things with this knowledge you will be able to do a small uh, and tiny projects right so um, that's all for this video right so i wish you continue and go to the next level of intermediate in the coming videos we will be studying about handling the files and different functions right as well as standard libraries we will be studying about them see you in the next video thank you